people are going to be able to stay in a hotel in the jungle or they can go stay on the beach or they're going to be able to stay at a five-star resort and it's all going to be 50 percent off okay it really is 50 percent off the cost and and you know i know some people are worried about coming down but please don't worry okay do not worry about it okay so what they're going to take a swab test you know and they'll do a saliva test in the mouth you don't have to do the brain thing and I'm going to be leaving, and, and so I got to get that done three days before I come back, and then I got to come back home and, you know, do the routine. But the reality is, is I'm not going to let life get in the way. But this morning, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have Carrie coming on in a couple of minutes, and we're going to talk about a fibroma, okay, in her thumb, okay? So anyways, let me get back to Playa del Carmen. So the reality is, if you've always wanted to come and train with us and take our eight-day intensive whole life coach certification... It's, I, I'm telling you, I do have the best whole life coach, which means emotional, nutritional detox training uh, uh, for practitioners. And if you're not a practitioner and you want to just turn your life around, come and take it. And then we're also going to do, uh, uh, that'll be eight days and then 11 days of doing Wolf Non-Surgical. And I'm telling you right now, I'll give you a guarantee that in 11 days, I teach you the most powerful body work therapy in the world and you will leave with this. So whether or not you want to work with it with your family, whether or not your clinic, you want it to expand it more, bring more success, or you've always wanted to be a practitioner and didn't want to spend the $150,000 or the $50,000, you don't have to do that with us. And understand something. The day that you look for your authentic self and unleash that practitioner from within is the day that you actually heal your family. So uh, just know this. We'll be putting information up on itioh.com. And uh, we'll have a course there, and then we'll have another course in June uh, in Kelowna, British Columbia. But all our courses are packed full already, all the way up until we get to Playa del Carmen. We're already sold out. You know, here's the deal. Let's move forward with bravery. Let's move forward with courage. Let's stop being scared, okay? There's always been a bully in the yard, okay? It's time we take it back, all right? So we're here to do a live demo today. Okay, and uh, uh, we're going to be talking to Carrie. Now, Carrie lives, uh, I don't know where she lives, but she doesn't live in my town. I don't even think she lives in my country. Well, I'm not sure. We're going to find out where she lives. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to empower Carrie to get going on herself. Understand something. A real practitioner gives you back your power. Okay, somebody who is working for you gives you back your power. They don't keep your power. Remember something, treatment to treatment, who wants to do that? We know it doesn't work. We want to go into training, okay? We want, to, we want to train ourselves to be able to look after this beautiful body. Now, we will bring Carrie back on in a few weeks, okay? But we won't bring Carrie back on if she doesn't want to take self-care and self-love uh, right to the limit. I mean, unconditional self-care and self-love will totally heal whatever you've got going on with you. And that's the bottom line. So the reality is that you can just work on a physical level or you can feed your spirit, okay, and get that backing you up and bring your vibration up. And just, you know, a lady called this morning and she said, Dr. Wolf, I've got a hearing problem. I bought the clapper, okay, and I bought the uh, uh, fulvic uh, nano drops for my ears and I bought, the, I bought the silver nano drops for my ears. I bought the ear clear. And uh, I've worked on my ear twice. And you know what? I don't see a difference yet. And I said to her, are you willing to work on your ear 200 times to get your hearing back? Because no one else is going to do it for you. Because you have to understand something. Once you start losing your hearing, that means that you have so much inflammation in your ear, inner ear. And there's a little wire that runs from your inner ear to your brain. Okay. And that's where you get the tinnitus part. And if that starts getting crystallized and you start getting scar tissue in the inner ear, you're going to start losing your hearing. So how are you going to get rid of it? Well, you're going to take massive personal action and you're going to go and you're going to clap that ear for at least a half an hour around that ear every day. And here's a clapper. We're going to get carry on in a second. And there's a clapper and you can get this on my website at Doc of Detox. And I show you, I there's a two-hour training video on how to clap. So, you know, your investment is what, $25? Whoa. So then I show you how to clap every part of the body. And and when I get back from, um, you know, I think in about four weeks, six weeks, I'm going to be showing you how to professionally go in and clap every part of your body, what you need to do, what you need to take internally and do externally to turn around any part of your body. The reality is, is this. Let's give back people their power. Let's not keep taking away people's power. 
And that's the bottom line. But the reality is, is what everybody has is they have this mentality, right? Take a pill, numb the body out, that's it, it's over. Until a bigger disease comes, which is only a symptom of not looking after yourself. That's the bottom line. So the reality is, is that if you want to take massive personal action and actually heal yourself, it's going to take a little bit of time. Did you ever own a Visa card and not make any payments? Well, guess what? You haven't been making payments for years. So now you're going to have to make some back payments. And then you're, and that's how you heal. You heal at the cellular level. You know what? We have been conditioned to believe that, you know, take a pill, have a thrill, it's over. And then what happens? Well, it numbs us out, but then something worse comes a calling. So the reality is gentle baby steps repeated each and every day will give you back the life that you deserve. But you know what? Do you love yourself? And will you spend enough time and enough energy to heal yourself? No. I'd rather pay someone else to do it. That's why it doesn't work out so good, right? Okay? Because you can get treated to the point you feel mistreated. Anyways, let's bring Carrie on and see what Carrie's got to say. Good morning, Carrie. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Where are you from? Windsor, Ontario. So I am in your country. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. And uh, uh, well, you know, when, when you came on earlier, if you just would have said A, A, Daryl, then I would have known. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I'm sure I'll say that at some point. <laughs> a. Yeah, that's great. So um, show me what's going on. Okay. So I have this beautiful addition to my thumb. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk about your thumb. So um, it's on your left hand, right? Yep. Okay, now, uh, next thing I'm gonna ask you is, is what happened? When, when did this start, okay? I actually made some notes just so I would be really prepared for that question. Oh, I love that, um, I love notes. Oh, I'm ready, I'm ready for you. <laughs> okay, so 2017, I noticed a little bump just on the joint. Um, no pain, a little bit of sensitivity with it, and it started to fuse. So instead of being able to bend like this, it was starting to only, it was getting stuck. Right. Um, a little backtracking. I don't know if I had an injury to this thumb, but it always had a funny crooked shape to it, which people pointed out since I was a child. So just, just to kind of add that in. Um, 2018, I okay, was so, pregnant uh, you with know my what? first. Can I say something? Sure. Yeah. Uh, that's amazing because guess what? It's the funniest thing, you know, but you know, the thing that's niggling you today can put you in the hospital or the nursing home in the future. So what you just said, I want everybody else to understand something out there. Okay. What is making you into a victim? What's making you limp? What's crippling you? And even not totally crippled, not like wheelchair, not like walker, but reality is, do you ever notice something, Carrie? We know that there's something wrong, but we don't know what to do, so we do nothing. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a, um, um, a doc demo this week on a lady. And she said, I didn't want chemo, didn't want radiation, uh, I didn't want to go for x-rays. Okay, so I did nothing. And I said, yeah. yeah. And you know what, it's not, I said, it's not your fault. And she says, you know, I hate my breast. It's so ugly. And I said, you can't do that. You can't hate anything and expect it, expect it to heal. Everything is vibration, everything is about frequency. And I said, I'm gonna teach you in this demo on how to love that breast. And when you start loving that breast, you know, did you ever, you, if somebody hated you and you just gave them love, eventually it will melt their heart or they'll just go away. So the reality is, is, you know, it'll, things will change. You know, it's, are you willing to take personal action? Okay. And love every part of you and know that, you know, we get into certain problems because we don't pay attention or we don't matter enough. Now you got to get this, and especially with women especially with women, okay? Because everybody matters more than they do. Am I right or wrong, Carrie? Oh, you're totally right. Yeah. So do you go around, Carrie, thinking about everybody else and how you can help everybody else and be the healer? 
in your All in your day. circle? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I feel it. it's coming right through the camera. So you know, all the way from Windsor, okay? <laughs> I guess the wind is just blowing this way, okay? <laughs> so, anyways, so now what you got to do is you got to say, okay, what's it going to take in ma in massive personal action to heal this? And understand something. It's very difficult to get over the selfishness part because people actually think it's selfish because we get used to only giving ourselves whatever the amount of time, whether it's this much, this much, this much, this much, but it becomes normal because everything is just a belief. Now, if you've never mm -hmm. given yourself any time except to make sure your hair is pretty, your makeup's on, and that you look, you look uh, presentable and you look beautiful for the world, that's not taking care of oneself, is it? No, I mean, that's it's that's not. that's great. I mean, I'm not going to come out here and not try to look like my hair is proper and I've shaved and, you know, I have a nice shirt on or something like that. I get all that. But understand something. I spend at least an hour to two hours every day in caring for this body, you know, and for men, they would think that that was like, uh, uh, oh, my God, that's so ridiculous. Yeah, well, guess what? I'll be the guy that's 85 years old and having a good time still. Absolutely. So the thumb is an indicator for this to get this bad. How not how much you don't like yourself, but how much you're focused on just helping others and leaving yourself to the sideline. Makes sense, because you know what? It's worse. It's worse than it ever has been since I had my daughter. And I know all the moms out there are going to relate to this that say, especially right now when we're stuck in these bubbles, um, confined in our homes and not mm -hmm. going out and doing things. We're not confined in our homes. Just pick other things to do. Yeah. No, no, it just tough though. Well, it let does. me tell you something. I don't go where I got to wear a mask. I don't shop where I got to go wear a mask and it's not tough because I still do a lot of things, right? I got to wear a mask to go on the plane to get to Playa del Carmen. So I had to make a trade here. Okay. But the reality is, think about how you can create an adventurous, active life for you and your family, okay? Without, see, the reality is, is everybody is conditioned to go shopping or eating. So yeah. now that you can't go shopping or eating, oh my God, life's over. So we can't go to a movie. Well, we can do a movie at home. We know that, okay? But the reality is, is we have to become more outside people. We have to think about doing things outside. And I am very lucky. We, I'm, I'm a farmer's wife. I live on a land with a beautiful forest attached. Mm -hmm. So we do. We're, we're very lucky compared to a lot of, especially my friends that I do know. Yeah, well. But you have to be creative, and that's you, you tough do. Sometimes, and, and, but, but but this a storm doesn't last forever. And the reality is, sure. is you know, this is the biggest uh, lie that's ever been told. And uh, eventually, when there's not an, we'll start seeing people dying of broken hearts because they're not dying of covid i'm sure people are they are nobody's got the cold or flu anymore did you notice that carrie i did notice that isn't that i am so glad that there was a cure for the cold and flu thank god you know see so there's <laughs> the po there's the positive so let's talk about your thumb okay 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 but you know what maybe that's just a green thumb because you're a farmer's wife I don't have a green thumb to save my life i'm sorry <laughs> but i'll be honest okay all right so all right, so now 2017, right? You said? Yep, well, that's when everything kind of started. And what, um, what happened? What did, you, what did you feel? Did you feel inflammation, swelling? Did you feel like you tore something? What happened? What What was the tipping um, point? Little swelling, a little bit of um, sensitivity, like nerve sensitivity almost, yeah. and uh, stiffness. Okay, so here we go. So the reality is, is this was going on since you were a child, okay? But the reality is, is it's gotten to the point that what happens is, is wherever there is inflammation, there's swelling. Wherever there's swelling, things can't flow properly because there's actually contraction, constriction. But with the, with the inflammation, we get scar tissue building, which is fibrin, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, because that what do they call this you have? They call it a what? Fibroma Fib of the tendon sheath. It's what I just say, fibrin building. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to tell you something right now. I would just love to do this for you. Let me tell you, put your thumb up for a second. Everybody take a look at this. 
I would reduce the size of that by one third or or sixty percent in twenty five minutes. Want to come see me? Uh, you know what, love? <laughs> if if I if I could come to see you, I'm not coming that way for a while. Um, but the reality is, uh, let me see here. Yeah, I'll tell you what. If you ever get into Toronto, my son Jera, uh, he's uh, uh, he's been doing this since he was young. But, you know, he dances for the Toronto Ballet and he's a choreographer for them and other oh, people. Wow. But he does this. Uh, he does this work. So if you ever get into Toronto, call me and I will have him work on you. But here's the deal. We need to try to get this fixed for you right now. So do you ever get stiffness in your wrist? Do you ever get a problem with your shoulder or your elbow or is it just in your thumb? Only there. Okay. All right. Okay. How does it feel right now? Tell me how it feels. Is it does it feel hard? Um, yeah, it's it's a sol it's solid. It doesn't okay. um, it, okay. indent when you push on it. It hurts it, okay. really bad. Wait, the it hurts. pain is really intense. Okay, so it does hurt, right? Oh, it hurts. Oh, okay. 24 hours a day. Okay, all right. So what we got to do, the first thing that we have to do is this. Okay, you want to start. Uh, uh, first of all, can you what if you did? Can you show me something? Can you? Uh, can you, what if I did this and I clap my wrist? Yeah. Can you I actually have your clapper. Okay, sure. Do you have it there? Um, not in the room with me. It's downstairs. Okay, so let's say, um, let's say you had the clapper, right? So you see on this side of the thumb, does it hurt if you clap this side? I can't do the direct area. I can do all around it. Okay. Um, it's not on the actual spot. Okay, so what you're going to do is, is you're going to clap for a half an hour every day not on the spot but around it okay okay now before you clap um, um, around it i want you to take dmso gel okay this dmso gel here okay all right and i, I want have you a to question about that what you what i do have a question about that please go ahead um, i'm just entering my third trimester for my second pregnancy and um so i have the rose i have that one as well but i was told that i'm not supposed to use that during pregnancy i don't know well then if, I, if you're told please. not to then don't but the reality uh is if if it was my wife she'd be doing it DMS, now, is the rose DMS, more gentle well the the rose is more gentle yes but you have to understand i'm not telling you to do it so let's me i'm going to tell you from just a point of view that if if you were my wife because dmso is made from trees okay that's what it's made from it's made from pine trees all right and what it is, it's a solvent. So what it does, it goes in and it warms up the area. It makes it itchy. And it uh, uh, loosens up the scar tissue and the crystallization. So just wait until wait until uh, you give birth then. Okay? So okay. Um, so let's leave that alone. Okay? So uh, are you allowed to use essential oils? So I have pain away. Okay, well, um, that, uh, the pain away will be good enough. So what I want you to do okay. is I want you to put the pain away right on... The nodule, okay, do you want to know how many times? Yes. Okay, I want you to do it every 15 minutes to half an hour. Okay. So you're going to keep a little bottle with you and just keep doing it. And you know what? <coughs> what does what does pain away do? It brings up the vibration. It brings up the circulation. Okay, and understand something. You can't hurt the baby by using essential oils. Um, so, and it's and it's not going to go anywhere. So just just put it on the, on the hard fibrous part. Now... Um, you're still going to clap the area. And what I would also be doing is, can you uh, take a skin brush and lightly skin brush the uh, um, the um, fibrous area, the lump, the fibros? I just got one. I okay. haven't. I got it yesterday. So uh, go get it. Go get really it. I want. Where? Where is it near you? It's just downstairs. I can go grab it though. Go downstairs, and I'll talk about you behind your back. Oh, that's great. Thanks. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. So here's the reality. The reality is, is that um, I'll stay in touch with her and we'll take gentle baby steps and we will turn this around. Um, so that's a hard lump. And the reason why when she goes to touch it is, is because it's, it's fibrosed and the fibers are wrapped around the actual nerves. So if she goes to push on there or move it, it's strangulating the, the nerves, you know, um, it's just like what, what 
a doctor will say, you know what, you've got stenosis of the spine where the nerve has died, let's say from L4 to L, L1. And guess what? That's not true. The, the nerve didn't die. The nerve is all wrapped up with scar tissue and crystallization so you can't see it. So if you did an x-ray, you probably wouldn't even see the nerves in here, but the nerves are being, the crystallization is poking at the nerves if she moves it and uh, uh, the scar tissue wraps around it so it doesn't get let it move properly and be flexible. Are you back? I'm back. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, got your skin brush? I do. Very good. Okay. So take a look at what I do first, okay? So the lump is right here, right? Correct. Okay. So now what I want you to do is just start underneath it right here. And then work your way in and just go so light, hardly touching it. So light. And I want to tell you something. If You know what? Are you, are you a patient person? I would say so. Well, if you're not a patient person, you'll always be a patient. That okay. <laughs> so now we're going to start light. And then we're going to go as, and go as hard as we can eventually and just do this. Because eventually, see... It will be able to take tougher and tougher skin brushing. And then I want you to even do, you remember, do you know salt clothes that I talk about? No. Okay, so I want you to go take a look. And you can look in my book, Healthy to 100. At the very back, it's called uh, Beautiful Skin. And then go look at how to do salt glow. What you do is you you take Epsom salts. Salt glow. Yeah. Sorry, I do know that. Okay. Oh, you do. Oh, okay, there you go. You take Epsom salts, wet it down the consistency of sand. And then you're going to scrub, you're going to grab the Epsom salts and you're going to go like this and scrub your hand with it. Why? Because magnesium from the Epsom salts goes in here, okay? And uh, uh, the magnesium helps to relax the area, but this, but by doing the salt glow, the salt actually is like a scratching, so it brings blood to the surface and blood into the area. So, you know what? You're going to find that I need you to lovingly push yourself. You're going to get to a point that when you're doing this, you're going to go, oh, my God, it, it's just swollen. Does, he doesn't even know what he's talking about. Now it's big. So what? Let it swell up a little bit. You can then, if you want, you can get a cool, wet towel, but never ice it. Never ice it. Use a cool, wet towel, okay, to actually put on it. If you happen to work too deep, you're not hurting it, okay, It'll swell up for a while, use a cool wet towel, put it on, and then it'll draw the heat out, but it won't totally, if you use ice, you're going to cause more damage. Now, are you ready for this? I hope you're making, mm -hmm. well, no, you can go back and watch this. So the other thing you're going to do for me three times a day is, is you're going to do this. You're going to have to give yourself some time here, you know, how old's your daughter? She'll be two in a couple weeks. Well, teach her what you're doing, get her involved in it, so and have her do the same thing. All right? Then you can be with her. But the reality is, is now what I want you to do is I want you to put your hand underneath as hot as you can without burning your thumb for three minutes. Then I want you to go ice cold for one. And I want you to repeat that three to four times. Three minutes warm, one minute cold, three minutes warm, one minute cold, three minutes warm, one minute cold. And that's called vascular flushing. So we're going to open it up. We're going to shut it down. We're going to open it up. We're going to shut it down. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to do, first, what we would do is we would do the light skin brushing. Okay. So we're going to do the light skin brushing around the area. And then we're going to go all over here. And then ev eventually, it might take two, three weeks. You're going to be going like this. I'm telling you, you will be able to. What people do is they start and they go, oh, that hurts. Oh, well, I'm not going to do that. Because we are taught to run away from pain. Tell me we're not taught to run away from pain. That's why we're we all are. in pain. We're all so fearful. You know what? God love all the human beings, but it's hard to be around them. That's all I want to say. I, I, can't be <laughs> around, I can't be around human beings until there's some great awakening and it better happen pretty soon. All right? So anyway, so now... You're going to go in lighter and then you're going to go tougher and tougher and you're going to skin brush that area. You're not going to take the skin off. You're going to skin brush that area for a few minutes. Okay. Until it's like, you no, know, it actually feels good. Oh, really? Isn't that something? You know what? It actually feels good that I'm actually moving the blood in it and my thumb's not going to die. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyways, so now we're going to go and then we'll be going really hard like this. Okay. And then we're going to come and then we're going to do the salt glow, right? Wet, wet Epsom, you wet the Epsom salts. Now, 
you wet the Epsom salts, and here's the deal. You ready for this? Oh, you're going to love this. You, you wet the Epsom salts to the consistency of sand. If you use structured water, it's better. If you don't, just use water. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a cup. You're going to take a cup of that. And in one cup of that Epsom salt, you're going to put one teaspoon of cayenne in there. Now, you're going to do, what you're going to do is you're going to do the Epsom salts without the cayenne on the whole area of the hand, right? Watch. I'm going to take the Epsom salts. I'm going to do my wrist. Look, and wring it. Then I'm going to scrub the top of my hand. I'm going to scrub here. And I'm going to scrub it on the bottom and the thumb. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one cup of the wet Epsom salts, put one teaspoon of cayenne in. Go ahead. You can keep going. Oh, good. So anyways, then I'm going to take one cup of the cayenne, put one teaspoon of cayenne, I mean, sorry, one cup of Epsom salt, take one teaspoon of cayenne, Mix it in the Epsom salts. Now I want you to grab just enough, a little handful. Have it right in the palm of your hand, right here. I want you to then take it and just have enough that it's covering right here. And just do this on the thumb, just with the cayenne right on the knot. And I want you to do that three times a day with the cayenne and the Epsom salts. You don't have to do the whole Epsom salts thing, but the cayenne and the Epsom salts just on the knot area, okay? Yep. Okay, so guess what? It's gonna fire that sucker up. You're gonna get the blood going in there. You know what, if you actually put your heart into this, and, and now listen, if something happens and it swells or something happens and it bulges or something or something or something, you're gonna call me, right? My extension is number five, you're just gonna call me. And, uh, and then, uh, um, if you don't get me, just tell my staff and I'll call you right back, but understand something. You're going to come back on this show in a few weeks and you're going to show everybody how amazing you are. Okay. So now after you've done that and you've gone through that routine, um, you don't have to do this, but I have a product <clears throat> that's called, uh, you can call me, it's called, uh, uh amazing magenta. C60 coconut oil. It has more C60 in it than any other coconut oil on the planet. And it's not up on our website right now because we're relabeling it, rebottling it, but you can call here if you want and I'll sell you a small bottle. And then what I want you to do is I want you to soak that, okay, with some, uh, with some pain away essential oil. You'll mix that with the coconut oil and you'll just put that on a band-aid and you'll soak that at nighttime. Now, why would you do that? Well, because the C60 coconut oil is 250 times stronger than vitamin C as in the way that it neutralizes free radical damage. So it's gonna go in there and really draw on everything and it's gonna to help to get into the cells and help to rejuvenate actually, it really will, the mitochondria because there's so much mitochondrial damage in there. So that's what I would be doing. And if you wanted, if if you wanted, you could put maybe a, just maybe a couple grains of cayenne in with the C60 and a little bit of the pain away essential oil. And if you have also uh, there, like our fulvic eye drops, you could put a few of those drops in as well. And then you put that on a Band-Aid and you can put it on the area. Now, if you did that routine, okay, you're going to find that uh, um, it won't be long before that'll give. Now, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to show you two other things. If I had you do this, this is called fiber clear, and I had you take five, three times, five times a day. Remember, it's just enzymes. It's not going to hurt the baby. And then if you were to take like curcumin cayenne, which increases circulation, and you don't have to take my products, so you can get them from somewhere if you want, else you want. Like that's a, this is a systemic enzyme, so if you can find a good one. And then if you take the curcumin cayenne, okay? Now, I would start off with one at a meal and maybe then two at each meal. Uh, and all it is, is going to improve circulation. And we already know that people do, they do turmeric and then curcumin is about uh, uh, where there's uh, in turmeric, you got 5% curcuminoids in our curcumin. Okay. You've got 95% curcuminoids. So it's a lot stronger. And then we've got African cayenne a little bit in there to trigger it. So 
All of these are just herbs, so it's not going to hurt. And then the fiber clear is enzymes. Now, do you drink dairy and eat cheese? Not anymore. Okay. Do you? So do, I'm do, retraining do, myself to now. I I d- downloaded your perfect diet, or your okay. perfect day diet. Yeah. Um, a lot of the stuff I was doing, but I was still consuming a bit of dairy. Okay, so dairy um, so dairy is an out and out poison, whether it's organic, whether it's not pasteurized. You have to understand that you know uh, within ten days after breastfeeding, uh, once we stop breastfeeding from our mother. Uh, we don't have the enzymes to break down milk, okay? And then cow's milk is 20 times, the molecules 20 times larger than mother's milk. And then the the casein in it is actually the most inflammatory thing you can do. So you could just eat it like a piece of cheese or yogurt or milk, and it wouldn't flare up right away. But it would, you would notice it the next day. Do you understand? So we're not putting it together properly. So get rid of flour products, get rid of sugar products. You don't have to get rid of honey. You don't have to get rid of any natural sugars uh, and uh, um, and get rid of dairy. And um, are you a wine drinker, alcohol drinker? I was never really before. And obviously now I can't have anything. So, okay, well, then see, we're on a roll. Then we're on a roll. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. I do eat a little bit of meat. Um, I haven't cut that out. Okay, now the meat's not so bad. Okay, you know what? I I uh, um, I'm not a vegetarian because I don't be in, believe in vegetarianism. I'm like a, I'm a whole plant based diet. That's all I call it. I'm not a vegetarian because vegetarians are pretty unhealthy. A lot of them are, and I'm not totally I'm not down agree. in vegetarians. But yeah, I I don't look like a vegetarian. I'm not weak. I don't lack in energy. I don't get sick. So the reality is, is this is that you know. Everything is about vibration. So you think about how you're going to bring your vibration up, how you're going to bring your circulation up, how you're going to detoxify. So, you know, you want to make sure your bowels are moving really good. Okay. You want to make sure you're drinking lots of water. Okay. Uh, You want to make sure that you're alkalining your system as much as possible. Right. So I would be doing berry drinks and blender drinks because they're the highest. Love those. Pardon? I love those. Yeah. Do lots of them. Do berry drinks. uh, A couple berry shakes a day. And really keep that going to really help your bowels move too. Lots of, keep those bowels moving because the pregnancy will go along so much better. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if, oh, 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 there is one other thing. So once we get going here, uh, how about we, we come back and we meet and do another live in about a month, okay? But if we don't come back, everybody, and do a live in a month, it's because she quit. Oh, that's not going to happen. Well, I know, but I just want to be honest with everyone. It's not because I forgot. Yeah. It's There's no reason. And, and understand something. <clears throat> I need everybody to get this. The stuff I know doesn't fail. People fail themselves because in their protocols, in their prominent dominant thoughts and programs, they're not allowed to love themselves that much. And when they start, they start feeling selfish and they quit the protocol. So if you got a 20 foot hole, you got to have a 20 foot ladder. So if Carrie were to give this all she's got for four weeks, okay, she would find that she's hardly doing anything and the thing is falling apart. And understand something, uh, everyone, <clears throat> the definition, if you look at what she's got, it, it they actually call it a, fi- a fibrous tumor. Now, medical system, you're nasty. It's not a tumor, it's a fibroid. Because what happens is as soon as you hear tumor, you think mutation and cancer. So understand, there's nothing cancerous about this. What it is, is that, okay, everybody she talked to um, is not aware of real health. They don't, every condition in the human body that there is a disease or negative symptoms coming from that area is is because there's scar tissue, displaced calcium, and crystallization. Now, if you were to get yourself on cartagen, which is part of our um, ionic therapy, right? Our, our ionic calcium therapy ions. If you were to get yourself on cartagen twice a day, that would take the displaced calcium from out of the thumb back in to the bones of the thumb. Because when you've got inflammation going on for so long, you create you you create a beaver dam in that area because it's a joint area and you got this big lump. You think that's not a beaver dam? All the 
all the lactic and uric acid crystals are going to jam up here and that's why it's getting so big and then because when it gets inflamed and you and it swells then calcium gets pulled from the bones in your thumb and the calcium is now going into this until it becomes rock solid and eventually that'll become a cement thumb and you won't be able to do anything except hitchhike because you won't be able to bend it at all so we want to get the calcium back into the bones so if you would carry go to my library and take a look at the ionic calcium guide and then you can take a look in there about osteoporosis because that's what's happening to your thumb joint you're losing the bone so your, your bones are becoming like swiss cheese and the calcium is actually getting held in the fibrous part and that's why it's going to get harder and harder now once we start to soften this and there's not so much pain i want you to get a shot glass we call this one shot therapy and what you do is you get a shot glass carrie this isn't today <laughs> I want me and you to talk and then I'll go through this with you. You just have to call me and then I'll show you the shot glass. I'll show you a little bit now, but then I'll show you later. And what you're going to do, because your thumb, you have the big bump right here, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to start where it ends and you're just going to come where it starts right here. You're going to come right at the edge of it and you're going to go in with the edge of the shot glass. Use the edge of the shot glass or you could use the edge of the of the uh, um, essential oil bottle. But the reality is, is this is round. I want more of an edge. And the, we have shot glasses. If you don't have one, if you end up ordering, we'll, we'll, you can get one from us. But if you have a shot glass at home, or if you had like, you can get these hot chili pepper bottles and they have a good, uh, um, like a good bold edge on the bottom. And you, you start at the bottom, you, like you don't start in the middle of it. You start at the bottom of it and let me see if I can do, show you this here. Okay. Um, hmm. Nope, not working. Okay, here. So, yeah. okay, let me see, Daryl. Uh, first time I'm... <laughs> like oh, that. here we go. That's good. Okay, all right. All right. I'm slow, but it's Monday. Okay. So, <laughs> anyway, so now you go... Here's the bump right here. You go right to where it almost ends, and you start doing this. And guess what? You'll actually feel yourself actually pulling the fibers together I mean apart you'll be pulling them apart and then I want you to go and start work and go as much as you can and understand Carrie if you do not bruise your thumb you didn't do a good job so if you're okay. if the next day you're going oh wow that's tender I bruised myself I want you to bruise yourself Okay, because understand something, these fibers are so tight together because of lactic and uric acid, it glues them together and then the calcium walls it. So you got to go in there and pull it together. So when you're pulling the fibers apart, there's going to be some tenderness with these fibers. Look at what you've done is you've created your own big piece of beef jerky in here. If you, have you ever eaten beef jerky? Oh. Um. Yes or no? I know beef jerky. <laughs> okay. Okay. So anyways, beef jerky, what it is, is beef jerky can start off at one inch thick and they can bring it down to only one eighth of an inch thick when it's beef jerky and it's got the same amount of fibers. So okay. you, we got to go in there and pull those fibers apart so that you can get your life force energy in there so you can get your blood flow in there. Okay. Because if no blood flow, we're not going anywhere, girl. So if you don't want to break up that beaver dam, if you don't want to pull those fibers apart, if you don't want to create a little bit of swelling, if you don't want to create a little bit of bruising, then just guess what? Someday they're going to say, well, we'll have to do surgery. And then that could be a real mess because if they go do surgery here, they're going to create more scar tissue than they pull out. Well, and that's where I'm at because they've cut into it twice. Oh, there you go. And you can't do that. Okay, everybody, I'm going to tell you something. I right wish I would have met you before. Well, before you know. I let them do it, but... Okay, so here's the deal, and I want everybody to get this. I am not telling anybody to go to surgery or not go to surgery, but surgery causes more scar tissue than anything else that you can do. And the reality is, is I will give anybody a money-back guarantee that if they come to me and they have to go to surgery, I will refund all your treatment money. Now, you're going to think, oh my God, is she ever hard up? I'm not hard up. What are you kidding? I just know what I'm doing. I'm really good at it. There's no body work like we do in the planet because we guarantee that... When you come to us, the first treatment is going to be more powerful than everything else you've ever done put together. 
And understand, I make that claim to fame because it's all about scar tissue, it's all about crystallization, it's all about, de it's all about calcification, and understand something. There are tens of thousands of body workers out there who don't even know those three principles. And that's the reality. So if you're not untying the knots in the body, if you're not opening up, see, here's what's happened, okay? Can I show you something, Carrie? There, mm -hmm. let's say that this was your thumb. These were the fibers that got all the blood supply it needed. It got all the oxygen it needed. And also, what about your spirit? What about your energy flow? What about your chi? What about, they call it an aura. But you know what? We are energy beings. That can't travel properly. So what happened was inflammation, you injured it. So then guess what? Contraction, contraction, contraction. And then the fibers jammed together. And then over the years it started to shrink from dehydration because inflammation shrinks tissue. And then guess what? Oh, there's your lump, Carrie, sticking out of your thumb. So now what we got to do is untie the knot, open up the fibers, and you get your thumb back. It right. sounds beautiful. Yeah. And you know, I, I would like to tell your listeners, um, you know, they, they didn't make it better during any of the surgeries it just progressively got worse so like i said i wish i would have known beforehand because i never would have did it but i thought it was the only option for me yeah but carrie so. you're such a brave heart i see your energy i see the whole thing and understand everybody i don't bs that means dysfunctional belief systems i don't give them carrie you're a powerful woman and i i i think you're amazing and you know you are and understand something what you did today was give everybody a gift. And if you follow through and love yourself well, you'll come back here in four to six weeks and people are going to be in awe. And you know what? And that's just only because you're amazing, Carrie. Oh, and, well, thank you. And understand, you know what? It, this might be a pain in the, in the butt, but the reality is you will be giving people the gift of a lifetime because this fibrosed tumor as they want to call it can be anywhere in the body and if we can get rid of it in the thumb we can get rid of it in our bum okay so understand that and i and i want to thank you for coming on and i want you to stay in touch with me and can you call me at least once a week and just say where you're going and then do you have an iphone i do can we facetime sure because i'd like to just iphone me uh, um and uh, um just call me on my iPhone and I want to take a look at your thumb once a week and understand I'm never judging you. I'm only observing and you work as quickly as you want. I'm here and I am patient and let's do this. Okay. But listen, if you FaceTime me from a beach when I'm in the cold, I don't know if I'm going to be happy about that. <laughs> well, then you're not allowed to talk to me next week. <laughs> No, thank you so much for having me on your show. I really appreciate it. And I'm really looking forward to changing this and healing it myself. So go back and watch the video and then, ma and then make, make a point form notes and then tell me what you would do. Okay. And then send it to me. Okay. And then I'll tweak it and then uh, I'll send it back to you to make sure that we got this thing and that uh, uh, you don't make me look bad. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. Thanks, you too. Bye. Bye. Hey, everybody. You have a beautiful day, too. And uh, understand something. If you would like to come on and do a doc demo with me, you know, that's the first doc demo that anybody would do. Uh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't she a beautiful person? If ever you want to come on and you don't, you want to change your name, you don't want to show your face, I'm here for you. If you want to show your face and change your name, I'm here for you. If you want to show your face and keep your name, I'm here for you. And just understand, I truly am here for you. All right? God bless. Have the best day of your life, okay? You got this, Braveheart.
If you're looking for life-saving and life-changing information, well, you've come to the right place. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Stay connected.